This is how the beginning of any hat looks like. It starts with a cape line in a form of cloche. What uh, we hatters do is mistreat the spelt furiously. <laughs> we stretch it, we burn it, we put them into boiling water or we steam it to death. <laughs> then we mold it, we shape it, we stiffen it, we burn it, we mistreat it in so many different ways to make a finished hat for you. So how you've been doing? Thank you for coming back because today we have a very important talk. Oh, we'll talk about the difference between the two distinct types of felt that we use for hat making. The first one is wool felt that you have already seen, touched and certainly worn. And there's the fur felt, the high-end material. There's not much difference visually. From distance, it looks exactly the same. When you start to dive in into the details, this is where the difference lies. For whichever reason you're planning to get a hat for you, whether you're a style conscious uh, fashion lover or uh, using hats purely for practical reasons in your life, in this video I will help you to make a very important decision as to the choice of your hat. In hat making, the two different felt types are wool felt and fur felt, be it a rabbit hair or beaver fur felt. So what is the difference between the wool felt and the fur felt? Wool is the most common choice for my customers. These hats are soft. They can be finished as beautifully as any fur felt hat. And above all, they keep hats warm and bring joy. Wool felts are affordable in comparison to fur felt hats. And this is a great solution for those who prefer having 10 hats in all possible shapes and colors, rather than just a few high-end ones that will last for decades. Nonetheless, wool is material that naturally absorbs water, so careless wearing might quickly lead to deformation and destruction of the hat. Treating your hat with care avoiding rain, storing in properly on a flat surface and out of direct sun will ensure that the hat lasts for years. Contrary to assumptions, wool felt stands admirably against the test of time. I still wear my first wool felt hats that I made myself when I was just starting out more than five years ago. Oh, those are not my best hats, but I love them so much. If a wool hat gets wet or bent or flattened, you just let it dry, then apply a little bit of steam and reshape it with your own hands. This will, in the majority of cases, save the hat. However, badly damaged wool hats are nearly impossible and even not worth restoring. You all know that wool is collected from sheep and doing so the animals are not harmed, which is great. They go happily around about their day, which is great. Uh, to get a fur felt, they usually use rabbit skin from food industry to get rabbit fur felt. And then they go to the hunting industry to go look for beaver and nutria skins to get those felts. When processed and felted, the fur felt is twice as lighter compared to the wool felt, which means that wearing a fur felt hat is way more comfortable. Many of my customers who have now tried fur felt hats have hard time returning back to wool felt. <laughs> a fur felt is also known for its durability. This felt holds the shape way better, and even if it gets wet or bent, it is really easy to reshape it. As to wearing any felt in the rain, guys, uh, therefore you have an umbrella. And no hat is actually designed to be worn as an umbrella, not at all. 
I will never recommend wearing any of the hats out there under the rain. Let us try pouring water on these two felts. Both wool felt will soak the water gradually, whilst fur felt will make the water run down. See how it pearls down? Another aspect of a great fur felt hat is its durability through time. Many hat makers out there are preaching uh, you to be able to pass down your fur felt hat through generations, but mm, however, I'm dubious about this. For me, a hat is a piece of personal hygiene, and I would prefer not to inherit hats from my grand grand granddads. With all these points in mind, you will now be able to make your choice. Whatever is your choice, remember that a hat will be a piece that will elevate your look at any occasion. It may become a great conversation starter. And a hat from Chapolala will always make hats turn. Know that you can wear a hat in literally any season. I personally wear straw hats to the beach only whenever I'm going out going for cocktails in a beach bar, I will always go for a fur felt. And for all other seasons, I'm backed up with a huge choice. The best about the hats is that you can simply wear a pair of jeans, a basic t-shirt. Adding a hat to that will totally change your look and your attitude. Try it for yourself and make hats turn.